What's up, comedy hype fans? My name Prim. Y'all know me, man. Everybody know me. Everybody love me. Y'all ever seen Boomerang with Eddie Murphy? This 90s movie? He like real sexy or whatever? He get all the hoes? You never seen it? Okay, well, here's like my recap or something. Like and subscribe. It starts off with Eddie Murphy on his way to work. He's like some big advertising dude. He making hella money. He getting all the hoes, of course. All the hoes love him. They all love his mustache and his pointy fade or whatever. Eddie Murphy is just irresistible to women, I guess. I don't... All right, sure. We see some of his daily routine now. He watching some sexy commercials. He's sending flowers to all his different bitches and they all blowing up his phone all day. Eddie Murphy's hanging out with the homies now. Is David Allen Greer and Martin Lawrence. Damn, bro, they got hella black all-stars in this bitch already. That's pretty dope. It's a lot of star power in here. That being said, uh, they're not actually that funny in this. It was a, a, a 976 number for her math. You talking about 976 D-I-C-K? Uh, chicks with dicks. Hell, how could you put something like that in your mental Rolodex? <laughs> okay, so this part is aged pretty poorly for several reasons. Let's not get into it. Didn't Eddie Murphy get caught up with a trans prostitute not too long after this? Am I tripping? I feel like I clearly remember that. You got problems, man. Eddie Murphy sees this chick walking her dog outside and he wanna smash her or whatever now real bad. He rushes outside to go and do romance. It's an Eddie Murphy romance movie. This isn't actually romantic at all though. This nigga just flat out lies to her about owning a dog. You hella thirsty right now, bro. Did you he ends up getting a date with the chick and now he's back at his place getting ready. We meet this wacky neighbor character now. He got a wacky neighbor friend named Tisha Campbell. Tisha Campbell in the movie. She be hating on him all the time and she be trying to ruin all his dates and shit. It's pretty funny, sometimes. I hope you catch a disease and your dick falls off. The dog lady comes over and she's looking hella good, man. This movie pretty sexy, man. I don't understand why they picked goddamn Eddie Murphy though. Please get this nigga out of here. Why are you doing this, bro? Who told this nigga he was sexy? Gold star for Marcus. Dinner was yummy. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's that? A scared little boy named Marcus. Why is she talking like that? She sound like fucking Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Is she supposed to be weird like this? Or is this just bad writing? This is how y'all think normal women act? Who wrote this part? Eddie Murphy ends up getting the drawers now. He real suave. He got game, etc. Except no, this is not good game, bro. He's just telling lies about his life. That's not suave. That's actually hella lame, right? Anyway, he ends up ghosting on the chick after he sees her feed. She got some oh fucked up God. ass feet. Eddie Murphy don't like that. That's too much for him. She was beautiful, but her feet were jacked up. Were they? Yeah, oh, I pulled the covers back. Yeah. It's hammer time. He's doing his advertising job some more now. He works with this beauty supply company named Lady Eloise. The company is run by this lady named Eloise. She's played by black all-star Eartha Kid. She real horny or something all the time and she tells Eddie Murphy that she'll give him a promotion if he smash her. That's not cool, lady. That's harassment. I've always heard you were very beguiling to women. Eddie Murphy gets some of that hot, ebony, mature action. Now the promotion is his. Except no, it's not. This lady was lying to him the whole time. She can't do anything for his career at all. That's messed up. Somebody cancel this lady, bro. Lady Eloise doesn't make any decisions. She's, she's the name on the package. You should see the way she just, uh, she throws herself at young, handsome, Viral man. Robin Givens fine ass in the movie. She's like the person that's really in charge of Lady Eloise. She the boss of the whole thing. She a businesswoman and she real smooth too, like Eddie Murphy, I guess. Eddie Murphy starts liking her, but she be treating him real bad like he treated all the other women. It's like a boomerang. It came back around to him like a boomerang. You get it? Now we gotta learn his lesson or something, respect women? That's the plot, pretty much. Anyway, they all at this party and his homies meet Robin Givens for the first time and they just going crazy like she's the baddest woman they ever saw in their lives. Don't get me wrong, she is bad, but she looks exactly like the fucking dog lady to me, right? I can't be the only nigga that gets these two actresses mixed up all the time. 
Again, they both hella bad. It's just, why is she getting a way bigger reaction than the dog lady? They not really that different. I kind of think dog lady is badder, low key. I mean, it was hammer time though. And she do got that stupid ass voice. Dinner was yummy. <laughs> We meet this weird ass French lady named Strange. She's like the new spokesperson or some shit. I don't know. She's pretty scary though. I don't like this. We go back to Eddie Murphy now, who still hasn't done anything fucking funny, oddly enough. What is going on? They really made this whole movie trying to convince people to be attracted to Eddie Murphy. I'm glad I was a goddamn baby when this came out. I'm not a fan of sophisticated Eddie Murphy. I like my Eddie Murphys in a fat suit or in a cartoon animal personally that's just me this is my mac daddy vibe i'm giving you i don't date men i work with robin gibbons tells eddie murphy that they can't date each other but they can still smash though that's actually very cool of her she's a good boss also holly berry is in the movie somewhere by the way she's robin gibbons assistant and she starts going out with david allen greer for some reason yeah right bro strong jay pops up again and she's doing some more of her bizarre ass crazy antics she takes her panties off and rubs it in some dude's face that's messed up somebody cancel this lady bro no she's definitely my favorite character in the whole movie she's like a super villain it's terrifying and arousing a little bit <laughs> Eddie Murphy cooks some dinner for Robin Givens, but she don't care though. She just wanna watch basketball all night and shit. It's like a boomerang, man. He be doing this to women too, I'm assuming. Hey, listen, Marcus. While you're up, can you grab me a beer? Everybody dating each other now. It's a romance movie. It's like hella a romance movie, bro. Like, it's mostly romance. The jokes are lightly sprinkled in sparingly sometimes with the romantic stuff. We do get this pretty hot Eddie Murphy sex scene though. Thank you for that movie. Like I really needed some shit like that in my brain today. Nobody's trying to watch Eddie Murphy bust a nut on camera, bro. Whose idea was this? He does a quick hammer time check on her feet and she's all good. Now he in love with her. He start catching feelings and she tells him to stop being so thirsty. She just want to keep it casual and that makes Eddie Murphy real sad now. I was just wondering when we could see each other again. That's I'll get back to you, okay? Now they having a Bivens. He clearly doesn't understand what casual means. He keeps pushing for a real relationship and she don't want one. So they finally decide to call the whole thing off. Eddie Murphy's super sad now. He all mopey and he can't get his job done right. Holly Berry tries to go and talk to Robin Givens about the whole situation, even though it's none of her damn business at all. Whatever it is you're doing to him, it's starting to affect his work. Bro, she didn't really do anything to him. Why is Robin Givens the bad guy all of a sudden? She was just doing all the same shit he did. In fact, no, she wasn't. She was actually being honest the whole time. She straight up told him she wanted to keep it casual because it was better for her life and her career. He was out here lying to bitches 24 seven for no reason. Talking about he was in a car crash and shit. What part of the game is that? He made up that whole fake story about his fiance. He was being super manipulative the entire movie. She was not. They're really gonna try to play it like she's worse than him. I gotta know who wrote this shit, man. Oh my god. Of course. It all makes sense now. These niggas do not know anything about women, I'm sure. Why were they in charge of writing this? It's a movie about getting bitches, bro. These two felt comfortable trying to realistically depict getting bitches? These are the writers of your sexy black rom-com? No wonder all the female dialogue sounds crazy to me. They don't know what they're talking about. That's Hollywood for you though. It's men writing stupid ass dialogue for women. Comedians thinking they more attractive than they really are. And of course, the whole classic black movie written by white dudes thing. It's beautiful, Hollywood, thank you. Anyway, Holly Berry takes Eddie Murphy to some school to volunteer with some little kids. It's supposed to make him feel better or whatever. It's a cute part, I like it. This movie kind of long, bro. Y'all could have got like 30 minutes off this bitch if you really wanted to. It probably would have helped the pacing, actually. Some of these scenes are drawn on way too long, bro. Halle Berry and Eddie Murphy start liking each other now, despite not really having that much screen time together. They all having dinner at David Allen Greer house now, and here comes goddamn John Witherspoon with the funniest scene in the movie. It's prime John Witherspoon. He sang bang, bang, bang. He like sucking on his fingers and shit like he be doing. I love this nigga, bro. He made everything 10 times funnier. Thank you for existing, John Witherspoon. Then what else happened? Uh, Eddie Murphy smashed Holly Berry. 
the David Allen Greer don't like that, they get into a fight. Why do you always have to have all the girls, Marcus? Halle Berry builds Eddie Murphy back up and he not sad no more. He does a good job with the Strange and the Lady Eloise campaign. Robin Givens try to seduce him at some point again. Hey man, this shit kinda long, bro. You get it though, right? You get what's going on? Okay, skipping to the end. Eddie Murphy, he's happy. He ends up with Halle Berry. David Allen Greer, they all friends again. Chris Rock, he was in the movie too the whole time. I just didn't mention it. He didn't really do shit, but he happy now too, I'm guessing. Everybody happy, it's a happy ending. They should probably get a human resources person for this fucking company though. What kind of working environment is this, bro? This shit is so unprofessional. And whatever, that's the story of Boomerang. It's all right, I guess. Eddie Murphy doesn't do anything funny really, which is weird. I'm sure it made sense at the time though. Whatever the climate was in Hollywood, he's doing his thing. Some of the gags were pretty funny. Some go on for too long. It's pretty raunchy too, but not really. It's like raunchy by early 90s standards. It's actually super tame compared to most modern day comedies. Honestly, at times, it does feel like it was written by a bunch of dudes who don't understand women in the slightest. Like, I don't think none of this shit is sexy to women, bro. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Somebody definitely could've used a reality check here. I don't know if it's Eddie Murphy or the writers or whoever, but it's got an all-star cast. We got that John Witherspoon mushroom jacket scene. Strange is funny as hell. It's a fine movie, I have fun. Thank you Comedy Hype for having me. I do videos like this on my channel, Prim's Hood Cinema. Go check it out, bro. Also, is Eddie Murphy sexy? Let me know in the comments. Were you around when this came out? Did Eddie Murphy turn you on is what I'm asking. Let me know. Thanks again for watching. The video over now.